shapeshifters, secret letters, and cover-ups. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters. Here are the top 10 dark theories about the British royal family. Starting our list off at number 10, Princess Diana. Prince Charles, the oldest son of the Queen, straight up admitted to having an affair with Camilla before his divorce from his first wife, Princess Diana. So in turn, Princess Diana addressed the relationship and what happened during that famous 1995 interview with BBC, well, she couldn't have said it better if I'm being honest. Diana said, quote, while there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. End quote. Diana also said she was in love with riding instructor Major James Hewitt during her marriage to Charles, so everybody had eyes elsewhere, it seems. Now, Diana and Charles did divorce in 1996, only one year before her tragic accident. Now, later in 2005, he ended up marrying Camilla. Tragic, of course, but were there dark theories that followed? Yeah, way too many, way too many theories. Number nine, Princess Diana theories. Okay, Princess Diana's tragic untimely death occurred in Paris on August 31st, 1997. It of course was an accident blamed on her driver who hit a pillar in a tunnel. The driver was speeding at a high rate and alcohol was also in their blood system. But of course the theories, these dark conspiracy theories followed for a very long time. Mohammed Al-Fayed, Dodi's father, Diana's partner, who at the time was rumored to propose. His father, Mohammed, believes that Diana and Dodi were the victims of a deep royal family plot involving the British security services and one Prince Philip who acted before the couple could even announce their engagement. So already we're starting to ask a little more questions, right? Okay, it's getting, it's getting pretty deep. Number eight, the note. A note Diana wrote also hints towards her untimely demise. It's honestly pretty heavy. This note is a conspiracy in itself. After separating from Prince Charles, she sent this letter to her butler. It's an odd accidental prediction. She says, I'm sitting here at my desk today in October, longing for someone to hug me and encourage me to keep strong and hold my head high. This particular phase in my life is the most dangerous. Someone is planning an accident in my car, brake failure and serious head injury in order to make the path clear for him to marry, end quote. Okay, let's unpack that, I guess. She continues here saying that he wants to marry a woman named Tiggy and that Camilla is nothing but a decoy. Now, that is a huge thing to drop here. As we know though, the last part was a little off. Charles did end up marrying Camilla, so that came true. The butler also later said the media had looked into it too hard, the whole letter incident. Apparently the letter was just a bout of anxiety that they made a bigger deal. And to be fair, there were attacks on the queen so often. Like, dudes were trying left, right, and center just to run at the carriage, so. Boy Jones going through windows, it was a nightmare, I can't imagine. Number seven, the Great Fire. One of the most wild Nostradamus predictions ever. Let's talk about it. It reads, the blood of the just will commit a fault at London. Burned through lightning of 23's the six. The ancient lady will fall from her high place. Several of the same sect will be killed. There are many people who believe that this entry here was actually one that predicted the Great Fire of London that occurred in 1666. The line 23 is the sixth and times 20 by three, then you add six, you get 66. So yeah, there's some conspiracy math behind this you know, equation over here. But most importantly, it may also mention London and the royal family. And in real life, this fire really did affect them, of course, as well. Also, it is said by many that the reference to the late Lady here is actually another term for the kingdom. This means that Nostradamus was predicting that the kingdom was going to fall as a result of the Great Fire. Nostradamus is an odd one. He may be in here a couple times. He said uh, he said some odd stuff. Number six. Prince Charles the Vampire. Okay, yeah, some of these theories, they're a bit out there, I'll admit that. I didn't make them up, I wish I did, but I did not. Some believers out there actually think that Prince Charles is a vampire, like a vampire that sucks blood, like a vampire. Why? Because Prince Charles is related to Vlad the Impaler. You know, the 15th century ruler who inspired the story of Dracula in Transylvania? Yeah, that one. Now, it's a fun theory that went about, but Prince Charles having a piece of Romania is actually helping out nature. Dare I say? The prince has since been conserving forests and even got a property in the land, so. Yeah, he's not a vampire. Well, maybe, who's to say really? I don't know. I vote no. Number five. King Henry II. Could Nostradamus have actually predicted the death of King Henry II, who at that point was actually a personal acquaintance of the prophet himself? Maybe. This certainly sounds like it. While at one point Nostradamus was seen addressing King Henry II as the most invincible King Henry of France, unfortunately Henry proved to be quite invincible when he met his gruesome death at age 40. It happened in the summer of 1559 and it was a terrible jesting accident gone wrong and it left the king passing away shortly after from sepsis. This is a terrible story but I told it because many think that Nostradamus actually called it first. He literally 
called the shots. The jousting accident saw the king having splinters driven into his eye and skull by one of his young soldiers. And the Nostradamus quote reads, the young lion will overcome the older one. And it says that he will pierce his eyes through a golden cage and that two wounds will ensure a cruel death. So, uh, you know, I'm not saying he did, I'm just saying the jousting and the, huh, definitely got close. He definitely got close. Number four. Marriage or ploy? Ooh, I like these, some Game of Thrones stuff, here we go. These theories are just that. They're all theories online that people have leaned into and you know looked into way too much. So when I mention shapeshifters in three minutes, don't be surprised, okay? That's all I'm saying. There's a theory online that you've probably heard where perhaps the marriage of Meghan Markle to Prince Harry, perhaps this is a political ploy that will allow the United Kingdom to reabsorb the United States. Yeah, spoilers, but... They're coming, I guess. This theory got momentum online because Prince Harry's kids will be Americans as well as Brits. That's uh, that's double trouble right there. So they could grow up to be president and king. Yeah, now you're thinking, you're like, oh yeah, true. Time even tweeted about it. Yeah, Time, it went viral, obviously, but they tweeted, quote, they want America back and this is how they'll do it. Some guy tweeted that, was like, Phew. gif or no gif? All right, no gif, it's more powerful, we got it. Number three. Diana's other child. Conspiracy theorists for a while now have sought out claims for the royal family wanting to take out Diana. So I guess, sure, some people do this with their lives. Egyptian businessman Mohammed Al-Fayed, father of Diana's partner, who I mentioned earlier, began to talk and actually spread rumors that Diana was actually pregnant with his son's child and that Prince Philip couldn't stand the fact that his grandson would have an Egyptian Muslim as a stepfather. It's pretty heavy stuff right there, right? Now, of course, post-mortem examinations did not find any evidence that, you know, confirmed this or that Diana was pregnant, but of course, there are still many online who still stand by this conspiracy. Worth a mention, I'd say. People are wild. Number two, shapeshifters. I warned you. This next theory, again, I wish I could claim for my own, but it was actually former BBC presenter David Ick. He has since revealed himself, not as a lizard, but as a conspiracy theorist. And one conspiracy that surrounds the royal family Personally, it has me stunned. I was laughing at my desk for like eight minutes. Here we go. Ick and a few others claim that the royal family is part of the Illuminati. Yeah, we love that. And all of them are in their power because their human ancestor mated with reptilian aliens. That's a real person's claim right there. That's a real person's real claim right there. David goes on and he says that the theory actually explains why the royal families are all obsessed with keeping their bloodlines clean with other royals. Sure, I guess that's where my mine went to first, okay. But the biggest what the f part of all of this has to be when David told the public that he knows people who have seen royal family members or people who have, you know, high power, he's seen them change into reptiles and then back into human form again. He knows people who have seen that with their own eyes. So of course I had to bring that one up before our number one. Of course I had to. And finally, number one, leaked letters. We'll end off with some recent letter leaks. Never thought I'd be excited about this, but here we go. May 2018, the royal wedding. It was thought at the time that Meghan's father was absent because of the heart attack that he suffered prior, like right before. But a year or so later, it was revealed that Thomas Markle and the new Duchess weren't as close as it seemed. Thomas even spoke out against his own daughter. There was a huge scandal where Meghan spoke to Oprah as well, a huge tell-all. Basically, Meghan actually said to her father that if you tell me the truth about working with paparazzi, then we can all help and then we'll go from there and then work on rebuilding our father-daughter relationship. And he wasn't able to do that and that for me has really resonated, especially now as a mother, end quote. So she's pretty much done with her dad's because he's, you know, leaking letters. And to be fair, if my dad was working with paparazzi, showing them private letters or emails, I'd be upset too. There's no way though. There's no way. My dad can't even figure out the thumbprint, let alone email. Get out of here. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye.